RACC and the Richmond SPCA now getting involved in a rescue mission of 4,000 beagles at a nearby breeding center following alleged abuse. And Vigo's Cumberland County facility is in hot water after it bred dogs only to sell them to laboratories to conduct animal experimentation. But now the Humane Society needs shelters to take them in. Riley Wyant is live outside of RACC with the latest. Riley? Well, Makia, the Beagles have not arrived to the Richmond area just yet, but RACC and the SPCA need to make room for these pups to come in, these pups who have been through the unthinkable. And just a heads up, before we get into this story, you animal lovers out there, this may be tough to watch. It's an enormous undertaking. RACC stepping up to the plate after the Humane Society of the United States put out a call for help. 4,000 beagles allegedly abused and neglected at Invigo's breeding facility need forever homes. They reached out to us and said, you know, would you guys be willing to help? And of course, Everybody loves beagles, and if we can make room to help move them along, we're more than happy to help them out. RACC and the Richmond SPCA do not know how many dogs they are getting for sure or when they will arrive, but the RACC estimates they could take up to 50 of them, including mama dogs and their litters. We don't know what we're getting, and we don't know if they're not healthy or if they'll be healthy or the time frame. According to court documents, inspectors allege nursing mother beagles at the facility were denied food. The food that they did receive contained maggots, mold, and feces. In addition, beagles there were allegedly killed instead of receiving veterinary treatment, even for minor issues. Plus, 25 beagle puppies died from cold exposure during the winter months. We know this is happening an hour away from us, so Virginia is just, you know, a few of the wonderful rescues who are have already signed up to help take a ton of Beagles. In the meantime, the shelters need space and are asking for people to adopt or foster pets currently in house. They know they will have their hands full once these pups arrive, especially since they are back to pre pandemic levels and taking in approximately 10 new animals a day. We have had um, we have had a few of the beagles from situations like that previously, and they're lovely. I mean, it's been it's it's an interesting dynamic because they're well, beagles are just super nice. I mean, they're nice no matter what, and you can pack them in and kennels of ten, and they're still happy and bouncy. RACC says they've gotten hundreds of emails with interest from people, but they say you don't need to inquire about the beagles just yet. They want people to come check out the dogs that they currently have in house right now. They also tell me that they. Um, they are hoping that the beagles can provide, get the care that they need before they are sent off to homes. Live and on your side, Riley Wyant, NBC 12 News. Thanks, Riley.